Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk. Here, and in today's video, we have a brand new video. There is a lot to go over today. So I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can with all the news, cause there is a lot of news to go over here. First thing to go over is that there is a new war effort going on. You can vote for either the Boogie Bomb or the Combat Shotgun. It appears that the Combat Shotgun is winning over the Boogie Bomb, but there is more news about the mechs returning sometime nearing the end of the season. So if you want to be able to counter the mechs, the Boogie Bomb is the way to go. But it does seem like everyone is going to be voting for the Combat Shotgun. It's just how it is. I see a lot of people complaining online about it. It's just a game and it's whatever. If you don't like the combat shotgun, if it ruins the game for you, then don't play the game. I'd recommend Imposters. It's actually really fun again. What oh my that? God, it's Sands. <laughs> <laughs> also, there is a new landmark called the Mountain Base, which is basically where that huge door was underneath that bridge for like two years. It's finally opened up and it's just another IO base. It was kind of disappointing. I thought it'd be a little bit more than just that, but it's still something. Also, you can now unlock the Cube Queen outfit right now. All you have to do is do some challenges and then you can get all the edit styles and the skins and stuff. And it's a really good set. A lot of people, once again, were kind of harping on the Cube Queen being like, oh, his skin's not even that good. I have to disagree. I think this skin is actually really good. And we haven't had a secret skin that was unique like this since Chapter 2, Season 1. Like, it's been a while since we've had a unique secret skin. So if more people keep complaining about the skin, I feel like we're going to just go back to having collab skins as secret skins again. And I'd rather not have it like that again because the secret skins were supposed to be stored driven skins and when we got like Deadpool and Aquaman it was just like well it's just another excuse to put collabs in the battle pass so I'd rather more story driven characters and I think the cube queen with her entire set is great the glider I mean oh my god you actually walk down steps it's amazing as well as the music pack is very well done like they didn't have to go all out on this but they did so consider me a cube queen stan i think that's what the kids call it nowadays and also there is supercharged xp this weekend on october 29th at 7 p.m eastern to november 1st at 7 a.m eastern you're gonna get a lot more experience and it's gonna help you a lot with that refer a friend challenge thing which by the way i'll update everyone on that so the website was down for a little bit because it wasn't tracking the amount of levels it came back up recently and I gained over 25 levels and it only counted for six. And my bot account got like 15 levels and it didn't count any of those. So I don't really know. This seems like a complete waste of time for me, but I'm still gonna grind it out anyway. I'm gonna see if this actually works out. We'll have to wait and see on that though. Also, Fortnite announced the short night again for the third time. We're gonna be getting another short night event. And the first two I thought were fantastic. I thought the second one was a little bit better, but regardless, I thought they were all really good. And on October 28th at 6 p.m. Eastern and running until November 1st at 6 p.m. Eastern. The short nightmares will be made up of seven horror-themed animated short films, and I'm very excited for this. Now, there's actually a few ways you can watch this. They say you can watch this in the Short Nightmares playlist, and you can actually go to the Short Nightmares Theater, which was created by Quantum Builds, which is awesome. I'm not 100% sure if you can watch this in Party Royale. I haven't seen anything about that, but maybe you can, but if you can't, you'd have to do it through that method or what you could do is if you're playing the game you can actually do picture in picture and you will be able to see it while you play the game which I don't really expect people to do that a lot because it's very distracting to do that but I mean it's something and if you watch short nightmares for 30 minutes in the short nightmares theater you will receive the spray matter spray they say you can view it on the main screen as well which tells me that might be party royale again I'm not 100% sure I think they're probably going to get rid of party royale eventually just because they don't seem to be updating it at all and I think they're just going to get rid of it if if i'm being honest with you i think that's what they're gonna do now we're getting a new skin in the item shop tonight actually it's called the colonel poppy skin and he will be in the item shop on october 27th at 8 p.m eastern alongside his slurpy slush and back bling and the butter buddy emote so this will be in the item shop tonight as i'm recording this video so pretty cool stuff there very excited for this skin to come out the emotes kind of whatever i mean it's just that one emote we had last year but with a hand feeding you this time it's something different, I guess, but not really. I guess I would have liked to see a better emote than that, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal, so I'm not even that worried about it. Now, moving on to the Halloween cards. I always love these. Week 4 only has three cards, and it says from October 26th to the 29th. 
and the first card was already revealed to be the zombie superhero skins and the next skin will be the shadow midas skin which that should drop this thursday and then on friday we should see the bride of frankenstein skin which by the way Fortnite did tweet out the skin way too early. They tweeted it out yesterday, then quickly deleted their tweet. And here's a picture of it right here. It doesn't look bad. I think it looks pretty cool. I would have expected it to look more old fashioned, I guess. I don't recall Bride of Frankenstein being this way, but I'm totally cool with it. I think it looks great. So very excited for that. And the reason why we're having it this way, it's because it's a part of the short night thing. So that's why we're getting that. And then this is the final week of the fortune card. So after this, we're not getting any more spooky hints on what the skins are going to be. And that's going to be kind of upsetting because I thoroughly enjoyed these card reveals. I always enjoyed these like little hints at like, oh, what's going to be coming out? I thoroughly enjoyed these and I really do hope they do this again next year. It was just so cool. I really did enjoy it. And then next week, I mean, that's it. We're not getting any more Fortnite Mare stuff. It makes sense. I mean, we had Fortnite Mares for four weeks this year. I'm happy about that. So I will absolutely take that. Again, there's even more news to talk about here. So we're getting a brand new Fortnite Crew skin this November. Obviously, her name is Sierra and she looks really darn good i'm actually very pleased with this outfit she comes with the sierra's go bag back bling the serrated steel blades pickaxe and she also has the glowing vengeance wrap as well as the sierra's vengeance loading screen she also does have an edit style for pink and blue called the storm stepper alt style which looks really cool and also i just like the normal style too with her hair like that it looks great and you know black and red again kind of gives me goth vibes a little bit just just want to point that out there also just want to remind you guys because i feel like a lot of us forgot about it myself included as an extra subscribed players who assembled all three of the first shadows will receive a bonus style for each of the three skins starting with version 18.40 so we're gonna have to wait a little bit to get these alternate styles we're gonna get these I'm going to guess probably the 8th of November. That's just a guess. But if I know Fortnite and their updates, it seems like they update every two weeks. And yeah, I think that's when we're going to get it. So very excited for that. Finally, let's talk about a new timed exclusive. It's the El Dorado back bling. So Fortnite just put out a news post today and they said the El Dorado back bling is for people who redeem a code during this holiday season and they'll receive the item early, but it will come out into the item shop. I'm going to talk about this probably for a separate video, but I am really tired of these exclusives being timed. I miss when it was like there was an actual urgency urgency to go out and do something to get something exclusive now it's just you know everyone's got to get it and it's like uh, i don't know i i miss when we had like those console exclusives right i don't know i'll talk about that for a video probably this week so the way you get this back bling is that you have to buy official fortnite product that are officially licensed and these are items that include like v buck cards as well as the fortnite minty legends pack which will be coming out on the 2nd of november so I actually misread this. I thought it said that you can't get V-Bucks cards for this, but it actually turns out you can. It just won't say official licensed product label on it, but you can get V-Bucks in store and you will get a code on your receipt. And here's a list of all the participating retailers. And there is a lot, 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 lot more than we had before with like Minty and stuff. So really happy with that. And they say here, once you have the El Dorado back bling code, you can redeem it at fortnite.com forward slash redeem. Make sure you're logged into your Epic Games account that you want the back bling to go on. And they say codes for the El Dorado back bling will only be on the receipts for physical items. When shopping online, Fortnite packs are often sold digitally only. Digital versions of Fortnite packs are not eligible. And then at the very bottom they say the El Dorado back bling will be available in the item shop at a later date. And they also say codes expire January 15th in 2023. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited for this. I'm going to get it as soon as I can, but like I don't know. I miss when we had actual exclusives. We really don't get those much anymore. But guys, that is it for the video today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know the like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And if you'd like to use me for support or creator, my code is ITF. You guys have yourselves an amazing day or night, and I will talk to you all later. See ya.